Alexa Hampton and I'm here at Las Vegas Market and I've been shopping the market for today in advance of the Ahead of the Curve panel on which I am serving tomorrow. And I was very excited to see everything that was on the floor today because I think I noticed some of the trends that I'd love to talk about tomorrow. Uh, here are five picks that I have that illustrate some of those trends that I'm seeing. We've got an image of a great headboard with a very interesting silhouette, a nice strong silhouette that's also an appropriate scaled piece, a little wicker hassock that would be fun to have a, both as an accessory or as a piece of furniture in a room, but that's that interesting scale and it's, it's vividly colored. This little geodesic dome-like shape that we saw at Thomasville, this little occasional table, I thought that was really fun. And this great lamp from Visual Comfort from the Aaron Lauder collection. It is blue with almost polka dots. So on the one hand, it looks organic. It looks like it could be a, sh a fish scale, but it's also a bright, fun color. It's not trying to go with everything and for everybody. It's not afraid to have a point of view. We're gonna talk about all of these trends and more tomorrow at the Ahead of the Curve panel with my wonderful co-panelists, Susanna Salk, Ron Woodson and Windsor Smith. It's so fun to have you guys here, Alexa, Ron, Windsor. Um, let's start with this rug. Alexa, you and I saw this yesterday. Yes. You um, wouldn't know it to look at what's on the stage, but a lot of what we loved was very colorful uh, yesterday. But this rug is made out of recycled uh, soda caps. How yeah. crazy is that? Um, but it also, I just love the way it looks. I'm, I too. love durries that are this pattern. We were looking for durries as well. Right in front of you, we love this Lucite table at Tara Shaw, which we is right did. downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Here she is. She's a, a classicist by reputation. Right. And very Swedish inspired elements. And she has embraced this whimsical Lucite I was surprised shape. to see that there. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think it, it means that Everybody's in a playful mood, but I also think, as a second note, it means that Lucite has entered finally the pantheon of classic materials mm -hmm. and design. You know, Philippe Stark, thank you for starting the ball rolling with the Louis Ghost chair. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. remembering Good that point. you can take great classical forms and subvert them through materials. Like the Louis Ghost chair, we've been seeing more and more of these fun chairs that have silhouettes that we all recognize, uh, whether it's uh, Klesmos or a Queen Anne shape or um, you know like the, these very archetypal forms but that have been reinvented by like usually you would see that in, in wood but now it's been covered in fabric and articulated with fabric which gives us an opportunity to put a pattern on it or to make it colorful uh, so that we can mitigate the masses of wood in Dunning. Exactly. And I, I love the playfulness and the repurposing of materials on these recognizable shapes. I was going to stand, but I'm so comfortable in this chair. Thank Alexa. You. I wonder who that is. Alexa Hampton chair. <laughs> you guys, did you see her fabulous fabric on it? I think women as rule have a love affair going on with any kind of animal print. Um, and if you, if you recolor it in neutrals, in other neutrals, yep. it, it diffuses it for a different audience, so it's not quite as scary. Alexa, you love this headboard. I did. I thought back to the notion of exuberance being a clarion call for market, um, along with the, the silhouette cutout shape of this coffee table and that headboard, and uh, the, or even this. There's been, to be safe is to have a square arm and a straight top, and mm -hmm. uh, it's so fun and refreshing to see things at a market like this that that are not trying to please everybody at once, that don't want to just blend, that are happy to be a specific joyful shape. There's some really good intermediate scaled pieces at market right now, a lot of occasional, a lot of, of tables like the tree stump in terms of, of size, and that it's such a great tool to marry mass market jumbo pieces with antiques. It, if you have that middle scale, it all it looks less it Goldilocks, it like yeah. too big, too small. This is a little occasional table, not unlike our tree stump, except totally unlike our tree stump. <laughs> but again, <laughs> right, interesting piece. scale, yeah. piece of sculpture. Yeah. You could either press it into service or just have it sitting uh, 
sitting around. It was just something fun and whimsical. And I just love, I love these pieces that are, have committed to design. They're not, mm -hmm. they're not just safe. They're, they have something to say. And I love the two-tone aspect.